guys, this is Miss Ruby Sykes and I am a kindergarten teacher at Montrose Elementary School. Can you guess what subject we're gonna talk about today? It's one of my favorites. You're right, we're gonna talk about money. So parents and students, please grab some real or fake coins so we can get started with that lesson. I'll give you a quick second. All right guys, so our lesson today comes from SOL K.7. SOL K.7 states that students should be able to identify the attributes of a penny, nickel, dime, or quarter. They should also be able to count how many pennies it takes to equal a nickel, dime, or quarter. Are you ready to get started? I think you are. All righty guys, so let's look at each coin. Can you say coin? All righty, each of our coins has a head. Can you say heads? Yeah, on our head side of the coin is a picture of a U.S. president. So you can see their face. So this is the head. Can you say head? All right, and when we flip our coin over, we have the tail. Can you say tail? I know it sounds silly. Not like an animal's tail, but the tail of a coin. On the tail of the coin, we have a pictures of U.S. trademarks, U.S. landmarks, and U.S. symbols that we can use. Each coin has a head, and each coin has a tail. Great job. All right, so we're going to look at each of our coins that we need to learn for kindergarten. Ready? Our first coin is the penny. Can you say penny? And our penny is worth one cent. Now, I know you can do that with me. Ready? Say one. Count with me. Our penny is worth how many cents, guys? One cent. So our penny is worth one cent. And on the head of our penny, we have President Abraham Lincoln. Can you say Abraham Lincoln? And then we're going to flip our coin to the tail. Can you say tail? Now, some of our pennies have the Lincoln Memorial on it, and some of them have this seal with 13 stripes that represent our federal government. But most importantly, our penny is worth how many cents, guys? You got it. One cent. All right, let's get our next coin. Our next coin is the nickel. Can you say nickel? Our nickel is a silver coin, medium size, and it has our third president on it, President Thomas Jefferson. He is on our head. I guess you're wondering how much is a nickel worth? Let me show you. Let's count to five. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Do it with me. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. So how much is a nickel worth? You got it, it's worth five cents. We're gonna flip our nickel over. And this is the tails. Can you say tails again? Good job, and the tail of our nickel has a Monticello on it. The house bit in honor of President Jefferson. All right, so we're gonna put our nickel down for later. Let's see our next coin. Our next coin is the dime. Can you say dime? Oh, Mr. Dime is kind of small like the penny, right? Our dime is silver. And it has our 32nd president on it, President Franklin Roosevelt. He is our head. Now, if our penny was worth one cent, our nickel was worth five cents. How much is a dime worth? Let me show you a trick. How many fingers do we have? We have 10 fingers. How many toes do we have? We have 10 toes. So we got to count to 10. And I know you know how to skip count to 10. So let's count to 10. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do it one more time. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Our dime is worth 10 cool cents. On the tail of our dime, we have some torches that represent liberty. So don't forget, we have our heads and we have our tails. Alrighty, guys, I think you're ready for our last coin. Want to see it? Alrighty, our last coin is the quarter. Say, hey, Mr. Quarter. Our quarter is one of our bigger coins. It is silver and it has our first U.S. president on it. Do you know who that is? I think you do. Remember President's Day? Mm. President George Washington is on our quarter. He is on our heads. 
All right, and then we flip our quarter over. And the cool thing about the quarter, there's different pictures on each quarter. So some quarters have national parks, some quarters have buildings, some quarters even have cool pictures on it. This one has a natural national park. Now, I guess you're wondering, penny was worth one cent, nickel was worth five cents, a dime was worth 10 cents. So how much is a quarter worth? I'm gonna tell you, it's worth 25 cents. Can you believe that? 25 cents on one coin? Guess we gotta count it. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Twenty-five cents is in this one quarter. Okay? Sounds cool? Let's go over our coins one more time. Our penny is worth one cent. Say one cent. Our nickel is worth five cents. Say five cents. Our dime is worth 10 cents. And last but not least, our quarter is worth 25 cents. Now, since we're only in kindergarten, we're not gonna worry about that half dollar, but I'll give you a hint, that's worth 50 cents. Don't tell anybody. But our half dollar is worth 50 cents and those are really cool. And then you're gonna learn about the dollar the dollar bill one day, okay? And our dollar bill, our one dollar bill has George Washington on it too, and that's worth one dollar, okay? Alrighty, so now we're gonna talk about each of the coins again. So remember our penny, our penny is worth one cent. This is how you can write one cent using our dollar sign. You put a 0 0.01, that's for one cent. Our penny is small in size, it is copper, and you can write one cent this way as well. And our penny is brown. Alrighty, then we have our nickel. Remember, our nickel is worth five cents. If you want to write it in the dollar form, you put 0 0.05. It is medium size, it is silver, and it is worth five cents. Then we have our dime. Our dime is worth 10 cents. And it has 0 0.10 for our dime. It is silver, and it's our smallest coin. It's like a little baby. And our last but not least, we have our quarter. Our quarter is worth 25 cents. And we want to write our 25, we put 0.25. It's silver and it's large in size, 25 cents. Alrighty guys, so remember, penny, nickel, dime, quarter. Say it with me a little faster, ready? Penny, nickel, dime, quarter. A penny is worth one cent. A nickel is worth five cents. A dime is worth 10 cents. And our quarter is worth 25 cents. All right, so stay tuned. We're about to play a cool game with coins, okay? All right, guys, so Miss Sykes has her pennies, nickels, dimes, and quarters separated. I also have a half dollar and a dollar. But in kindergarten, we're only gonna worry about pennies, nickels, dimes, and quarters. So now we have to figure out how many pennies it takes to equal that one nickel. Remember, our nickel is worth five cents. Can you count to five with me? Ready? One, two, three, four, five. So if my nickel is worth five cents, how many pennies do I need to make a nickel? Hmm. If each penny is worth one and I need five, that means I need five pennies. One, two, three, four, five. Let's count again, ready? One, two, three, four, five. Five pennies equal my five cent nickel. Now I know it looks like you have more coins than this one because you do, but these pennies are only worth one cent. So one, two, three, four, five is the same as that five nickel. Pretty cool, right? All right, let's look at our next coin. Our next coin is a dime, can you say dime? Remember, our dime is worth 10 cents. Let's count to 10. Ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So if my dime is worth 10 cents and each of my penny is worth 1 cent, how many pennies do I need for that dime? Hmm. Let's see. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's count to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're gonna double check ourselves one more time. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Those ten pennies are the same as this ten cent dime. Isn't that cool? Even though you have ten pennies, that's a lot more, but it is the same amount as that little teeny dime. Ten pennies equals that one ten cent dime. Alrighty, and our last coin for today is our big quarter. Can you say quarter? Yeah, remember our quarter is worth 25. Let's count to 25, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. You got it. It's worth 25 cents. So I need how many pennies, guys? Yeah, you're right. I need 25 pennies. So let's see how many we have already. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. Wow, guys, look at all of those pennies. So my 25 pennies, it looks like a lot, right? It looks like more than that one quarter, but it is the same amount. 25 pennies equals one quarter. 25 pennies equal one quarter. Pretty cool, guys. Alrighty, so this is a cool activity you can do with families. Sort your pennies, your nickels, your dimes, and your quarters. So we call this game grocery store. Can you say grocery store? Yeah, I know we're not in a real store. We're not in Publix, Target, or Walmart, but we're gonna act like we are today. So I'm using a toy cash register. Parents, if you do not have one, you can use a shoebox or something else in your house. And it's really simple. I'm going to pick out an item, so I'm gonna pick the crackers. I can ring up my crackers. And now I have to give the cashier five cents so I can give them the five nickel or five pennies. Today I'm gonna to use my nickel. I'm gonna take my nickel and give it to my cashier. Families, this is a really cool tool to help students realize how much each coin is worth and how they can purchase items. You may use household items and label them. Alrighty guys, this has been Miss Sykes and I hope you stay well and I hope you keep learning that money. Thank you and have a great rest of your day.